When you are grateful to God, He will do much more for you. I like you to thank God for your health, for your life, for your hands, for your legs, for every part of you. For making you not to be in the mortuary, but in the sanctuary. The Bible says when two or three are gathered in His name, His day. I know that Jesus is here. I want you to thank Him for His presence already here. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says when two or three are gathered, we are more than two, we are more than three, yes. that he will take his place. Amen. I want you to know that God is here Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'd like you to welcome the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to this gathering, the gathering of his people. Open your mouth and begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We magnify you. We exalt your holy name. What a mighty God we say. What an awesome God we say. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. 
we give you praise in Jesus mighty name and everybody say amen. Amen. You know the rain could not stop you. Yes. The storm could not stop you. Amen. That means nothing will stop you in life amen. in Jesus name. I'd like to welcome you to church. Walk to three persons five and welcome them. Give them a hug. Give them a smile. Give them a high five and welcome them. In fact, tell the person, uh, my name is this and that. My name is Deputy Chairman. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome. Hallelujah. I'd like us to sit two minutes then. Uh, before I take you to uh, the teaching this evening, I want you, I want to welcome you. This is Holy Ghost Ambassadors Houston. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Our vision, uh, let me just give you a breakdown of what we believe, who we are. Our vision, soaring main to greater height, true excellence, the teaching of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, and with the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit. I'd like you to know that only the eagle soars, other bird flies. And um, uh, I'm happy that there was storm today. You know why? Uh, because it wants to really check if I'm an eagle Christian. Um, whenever you see storms, all birds take cover. But you see the eagle flies and goes against the storms. When you see wind, the eagle goes against it. And I want you to know the reason why I still believe that this program should hold today is because we are eagle Christians. Amen. Nothing frightens us, Amen. nothing deters us. Whatever we believe, that's what we do in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, that's our vision. Our mission is to reach out to the unsaved and turn them to our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we have core values. Our core value number uh, is put in a short word called Lead Heroes. Uh, Lead Heroes stands for leadership, it stands for holiness, it stands for excellence, it stands for relationship, and it stands for outreach. So anytime you hear Lead Hero, we are talking about leadership, we are talking about holiness, we are talking about excellence, we are talking about relationship, we are talking about outreach. I believe that um, every parasitical must have their core values, what they believe in. I believe in leadership. And I know in a couple of years here, uh, so many people will become great leaders. Amen. 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 Um, a few days ago in Akisan, in Atlanta, I was given an award to, that motivates people. I believe that leadership is the greatest asset in the whole world. Amen. Amen. And I also believe in holiness. A lot of people are preaching against holiness, but I believe that uh, we should be holy as God is holy. He said, be thou holy as I am holy. Excellence cannot be removed out of Holy Ghost ambassadors. When you go to heaven, the first thing you will notice is excellence. If you see how systematic God puts things in place, it really works with excellence. A relationship will become a great family. That's what I believe. Everyone that comes around me, I establish a relationship that will possibly last forever. Amen. Let me use this time to appreciate uh, Mrs. Mercy. I knew her back 25 years ago. And um, uh, today is so powerful to come back and still relate with her. Amen. Amen. 25 years ago, she stood by me to make sure I became a student union leader. And um, I'm excited that uh, after so many years, we can still come to a different city and work something out. That's the kind of relationship I want us to build. That no matter where you go to, you must have someone that you can say, hey, that's my friend, that's my brother, in Jesus' name. Amen. And lastly, we'll be doing uh, lots of outreach. To me, this is an outreach program. And I tell you one thing, the Bible says, uh, he that is wise wins souls. And when you want to be wiser than others learn to do outreach, 
the heartbeat of God is outreach. Amen. Amen. And like I'm going back to uh, Nigeria to start what I call back to the street. And while I was in New York, God said to me at Times Square, I go to the streets and sit for five minutes, let me talk to you. And when I sat there, I saw something that my eyes was wow. Thousands of people leaving their homes, their hotel rooms to the streets. And Satan was glorifying himself. And God said to me, the church is now back to the church. But the real things and the people we need are on the streets. And God said to me, go back and go to the streets. In fact, as I'm standing, I've told them to check for a bus or a van. And God said to me, just put it uh, up back to the streets. Every day, get to the streets and win souls. If not, the devil is walking over time. I know a couple of you have gone to Times Square. You see the thousands of people on the streets messing up. And the church is back home. We are waiting for people to come on Sunday. And so God will help us. Amen. And lastly, our culture, what uh, we call culture. Back in Aquaibo, we have cultures. Uh, in America, there's uh, some very nice cultures too. But in our ministry, we have about six powerful cultures. Number one, the culture of prayer. Um, to me, prayer is the key. Anything you want, you can get it in the place of prayer. Amen. Amen. Number two, we'll have a prophetic culture. I believe that when we stop uh, the prophetic ministry, the world will come to an end. Mm -hmm. Prophetic ministry is to give us advanced knowledge of what is supposed to happen. And then we'll have a culture of family. Number four, a culture of celebrating people. And uh, number five, culture of giving generosity. And lastly, the culture of self-development. I tell people, you can come into my life and remain the same. The greatest problem in the world is leadership. And if we can have people pay attention to self-development, in a short while, the world will change. If Nigeria will invest in people and develop people, in a couple of years, Nigeria will become the best country. May God help us Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Having said that, back to this meeting, I'd like you to turn with me to Mark chapter 11. The book of Mark chapter 11, that will be your prayer. And then we just take one worship, then I'll go straight to the word of God. I'll be there. Mark 11, let's look at from verse 22. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. Verse 23, For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Verse 24. And that's going to be your prayer. Therefore I say unto you that what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Therefore whatsoever things you desire, what do you desire? Uh, Sometimes uh, people will say you should have uh, shifted the meaning, but that's not real. I didn't come for 10,000 people. I came possibly for one person. And I want you to look at verse 23 and then you pray. Verily I say unto you, you shall say to hurricane. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. You shall say unto this mountain. Speaking to a mountain looks impossible. But God is saying to us, have faith in God. Now, in other words, he's saying, stop looking at the mountain. And then look at what he says. It blows my mind. Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and thou shalt not doubt it. Wow. Then what you say will happen. When I read the news and they said hurricane storm, I stood up. I was praying all through tonight. 
I've not slept. And I call, uh, I have a prayer band in church. I say, everybody get up. Whether the rain likes it or not, it must respect my office. Yes. If you look at Facebook by 12 in the afternoon, I pastor that in the name of Jesus, hurricane must give way to the anointing. Uh, I love daring the anointing. Without daring, it's not right. Uh, because if Mark 11, 23 says, say, say to the mountain. In other words, I can say to cancer, get out. So except you catch it like that, they will all bow to news. Oh, nobody should leave their house. Nobody should do this. And can I say this? There are a lot of people praying for the hurricane to come because they are making money out of it. That's yes. I'm telling you. Yes. When you see people say, let's go to Iraq for war. If there is no war, there is no money. Yes. Uh, I'm excited that I'm here. You know why? Because every time I stay alone, if you turn to my notebook, God has given me too many messages. One of them he said to me last night was, imagine a world without crisis. And I said, what do you mean? God said to me, he created the world to enjoy crisis. And those that master crisis make money out of it. The richest man in Africa solved the problem of Africa. His name is Dan Gote. Uh, because people must eat, people must build houses, people must... When he solved the problem, when the world needed to get to each other, a man called Bill Gates solved the problem. And listen, without problems, you can't move forward. And let me show you something. When Adam and Eve were in the garden, there were no problems. They didn't know the other side of God. But when there was problem and they were driven out, conception took place. That means Adam did not know who he was until there was issues in his life. You will never know God until you pass through a certain level of fire. Of and let me say this, God is daring you to ask. Can you look at the mountain and push it? And then he says, say to the mountain, verse 24, is my best scripture in the world. If you desire, the word desire is expression of a wish. It's not a necessity. I've heard pastors say, God does not answer wants, he answers needs. It's not true. He answers both wants and needs. Can I remind that? Mm -hmm. It says, if you desire anything, if you desire anything, that means I can desire to become the president of my country. Mm -hmm. yes, but the problem is that three things must happen. You pray. You believe and you receive. Who has faith in the house? Yes, amen. No, can I say who has faith? Yes. You have faith? Yes. Okay, come. Let me teach you faith, then we'll get into the message. Just a little short. Amen. 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 Okay. Just watch it. Can you silence the phone? Okay, so close your eyes. Open again. See your dad. Now, I'm going to tell you to fall backwards. Turn behind. Is there anybody there? Okay, turn again. I'm going to instruct my angels that came all the way with me, 7,000 of them, to stand behind you and to hold you. If you fall and the angels refuse to hold you, you'll break your head. I'm sorry you will lose your dad and your brother. But if I tell them to hold you, I definitely know they don't feel they will hold you. Do you have faith that they will come and hold you? Close your eyes. I'll count one to five, then you fall. Are your eyes closed? How many fingers am I carrying? How many? Eyes are closed. Okay, so your eyes are closed. At the count of one to five, you will fall backwards. If you break your head, that's over. One. Two. Three, four, five, four. <laughs> you know, she actually fell. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. She, did you believe that somebody was going to catch you? How did you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> now, can I show you? God is not a bad God. Yeah. He can't get you into something He cannot deliver you. But if you notice, she did. Will I fall? One, two, ten, let me fall. <laughs> that is where we miss it. 
The Bible says we pray and receive not because we ask our needs. Every time you stagger, you miss it. Every time you fall headlong, God will hold you. He's not a bad God. Amen. And in two minutes, you are all going to tell God why you are here. You are going to tell God why you are here. Thank you for having faith. God bless you. Please sit down. Now, in other words, I'm going to ask you to put a desire. In the next couple of days, what will you like God to do for you? It sounds impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Let's rise to our feet. I'd like you in your heart to ask God at least three things you would like God to do for you. If you're watching us online, I'd like you to be part of the service. Ask God three things you would like God to do for you. Please open your mouth and talk to God. Three things you would like God to do for you. He wants to do th three things that you will never in your entire life forget today. Ask the three things you would like God to do for you. For he that ask and receive it, he that seek and find it. You can ask and not receive. You can seek and not get it. Ask God three things. Make it be. Make it beyond what you can imagine. Ask God those things that sounds impossible. It will not happen in your life, in your family. Uh, the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You are great, yes, you are. Holy One. Walk upon the sea, raise the dead. Great and mighty God, mighty God. Pass you not by that tonight is your night of prophetic encounter. Let God touch you. Ha kri ha la bro si bla ha kasha praha. E groni bla hin kara ha skopraha. Touch me, Lord, at the point of my need. Touch me, Lord, at the point of my request. Touch me, Lord. E karonia has kabri has kabaha. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Father, I kneel on your behalf, on the behalf of everyone here, and kneel on behalf of this service. It's not going to be by might, not by power, but by your spirit. At this point, I step out for you to step forward. I know that you are here. Amen. 
do that which you promised to do. Amen. Have your way. Amen. If the rain could not stop us, nothing will stop the answers to our prayer. Thank you for hearing. The person that you designed this service for is already here. Amen. And I know that you are going to do much more than we can ask or think. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray and everybody say amen three times. Amen. 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 Please be seated. I'd like you to turn your Bible to the book of Mark chapter 5. And while you're sitting, I'd like you to have a mega expectation. Somebody say expectation. Expectation. Mark chapter 5, when God said to me, when you go preach on the subject, Mark 5. Wow. Somebody said Mark 5. Mark 5. I've been preaching from verse 1 to the last. Uh, but I liked us to look at something from verse number 20. One. And when Jesus was passed over again by sheep unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and it was nigh unto the sea. Watch this. And behold, there cometh one out of the rule of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. Somebody say, I will not die. I will not die. Believe, Believe and declare the good works of the Lord. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. Okay, let's jump to... Verse number 35. While he yet spake, the king from the ruler of the synagogue's house said to which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? And let's read verse 36 together. Everyone want to go. As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Somebody say, Only believe. Only believe. Turn to your neighbor, say, Only believe. Only believe. Say to your neighbor, Only believe. Only believe. Hit your chest and tell yourself, Only believe. Only believe. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Have your way in this glorious service. Let Jesus be the reason why we are gathered. Heal everyone and touch us and we will never forget today for the rest of our lives Amen. in Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 I'd like you to understand that God has a plan for somebody. If you're that person say Amen. Amen. I know you've never heard this but I'm going to preach on the subject Mark chapter 5. Mark 5. Now if you look at the word Mark is the name of a person. That's number one. It's a name of a person. When you go to the dictionary, first of all, Mark, the small letter, is a sign. It's a point. It's something you can put on somebody's face and say, mark him out. But it also means a name of a person. Now if you look at five, five is the number of grace. So when we say Mark 5, that means somebody will be marked out for grace. Amen. Oh, come on, let me hear that. Amen. Amen. In other words, everything about this world is about grace. Uh, Paul speaking, he said, I am what I am, not because I walk hard, but by the grace of God. And he said, I'm the least of all the apostles, but it is I that grace has been given. Anointing is different from grace. You can be so anointed, so gifted, but you don't have grace. Grace simply means an unguent that makes life easier. And I know God is marking somebody out for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me hear your amen loud. Amen. This service is called Push Past the Pain. Yes. In other words, if you look at the handbill and look at what's going on today, you will know why we still have this service. Uh, push past the pain says push past the hurricane, Amen. push past the news, yeah. push past the rain, push yeah. past your situation. Yeah. That's why in spite of everything we still came out. 
uh, the storms are fearful and our news are telling us a lot of things. Stay inside, but we have to push past push past the pain. Push past the pain. Let me hear you say amen. Amen. I love when people preach back to me. Amen simply means so be it in Jesus' name. Amen. But if I take you back to Mark chapter 4, Jesus says, uh, let's get to the other side. And when he says to the disciples, let's cross over to the other side, the Bible said they carried him into the boat, but they allowed him to sleep. A lot of times, God wants us to get to the other side. Everybody has what I call the other side. If you have never been hungry, there is the other side of life. Uh, if you have never been so rich, there is the other side of life. For every position you are, there is a position higher than where you are. And I want to push somebody to desire to get to the other side. If you're not person, wave your hand and say, I'll get to the other side. But now watch what happens. The Bible says when he says to them, get to the other side, midway there was a great storm. Listen to me. God loves allowing you go through storms because storm brings out the best in you. Storms bring out the best part of you. Your anointing will never be revealed until there is a storm. Can I talk to somebody here? Now watch the story of David. David is in the bush. He's conquering a lot of things. He kills a lion, he kills a bear, but nobody knows about him. So David has to get to the other side where he kills who? Goliath. Without you getting to the other side, you will never be known in the city. Right. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Joseph is interpreting dreams in his family house. They sold him out. He interprets dream in the prison. But listen, Joseph has to get to the other side where he interprets dream for kings and for queens. Can I pray for somebody? I prophesy into your life, you will get to your other side. Yeah. The other side is the side of fulfillment in a mega way. It's the other side of having surplus and you become a mega blessing to somebody. But let me promise you something, getting to the other side will not be an easy task. Because the reason Mark 5 that Jesus has to enter. But the Bible said when he said to them, let's get to the other side, there was a great storm. The storm was so fearful that the disciples woke him up. And say, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Uh, the problem first is they allowed him to sleep. Can I talk to somebody? Say, talk to me, Pastor. Talk to me, Pastor. Now watch this, watch this. When you carry Jesus into your boat, don't allow him to sleep. Uh -oh. Can I rewind that? A lot of believers have carried Christ alone, but they allow him to sleep on them. When he sleeps on you, you are going to face a lot of storms. So while I was staying today at the hurricane, I said, no, I didn't come alone, I came with you. The rain has to give way for the work of God to continue. Amen. And because without storms, you can't know who you are. Amen. Until Moses hits the rock, the water will not come out. Until something happens, you will never exercise your faith. And so when they allowed him to sleep, mistake number one, the, the, the storms became so fearful. But thank God we have the like of Peter that woke Jesus and he shouted, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And when Jesus rose up, he did not rebuke Peter. He turned to the sea. He turned to the storm and said, let there be peace. The essence of having this program in the midst of hurricane is for me to bring the word of God to somebody, to your family, to your business, to your finances, to your career. Let there be peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you remember the story of Hannah, all the prophet Eli needed to say to her is go in peace. In other words, nothing broken, nothing lacking, nothing missing. Everyone that says amen, whatever was missing, broken, lacking in your life, let go fix it in Jesus name Amen. and so when he says that the sea obeys him and there was a great calm and then this is the mystery they get to the other side Mark chapter 5 please listen the reason why the storm came in Mark chapter 4 is because the devil did not want Jesus to get to the other side because when you go back read, there are three principal persons I want to talk about in Mark 5. The first is the man who had 
demonic oppressions held bound for years and the bible calls the people that afflicted him legions a legion is about seven thousand so if he says legions that means there were more than seven thousand demons afflicting one person now let me say this the fact that you don't believe that demons exist does not mean they are not there that's right Anytime you have time, you read the book of Luke chapter 13 from verse 11. The Bible says, a certain woman was held bound by a spirit of sickness. A spirit of sickness, meaning that behind the sickness, there was a demonic oppression. And that's why I know that the essence of the devil causing hurricane and issues is because so many people are held bound by demons. And so all it needs to do is to create an occasion to give them an excuse. Romans chapter 2 verse 1 says, Thou art inexcusable, O man. When you are li living a life of excuses, you cannot break forth to the other side. And so the storm came to stop Jesus, number one, from getting to the man that was demonically oppressed. Number two, when you read from verse 25, the Bible says, a certain woman that had an issue of blood. And number three, Jairus, who came to pray for the daughter. Thank you. Just give me some minutes. Now watch this. I'm going to talk about three persons. Number one, a man. Number two, a woman. And number three, somebody's child. Jairus' child was not there, but Jesus went on his behalf. Meaning that you can be here and represent somebody who is not here. And let me show you three dimensions the devil attacks everybody. Number one, he attacks you through demons. He assigns a demon to afflict your life. And the demon cannot afflict your life until it passes through somebody. Can I rewind that? Amen. Watch this. Satan wants to crucify Jesus but cannot because Satan does not have power here on earth. Number two, Satan is a spirit and spirits don't operate in the earthly dimension. So they need a body to operate. And the Bible says Satan entered into Judas, meaning that it was not Judas that betrayed Jesus, it was Satan manifesting through Judas. Have you no wonder the person you care for, you love, who turns against you? It's not because he or she doesn't like you, but there are certain demonic oppressions behind the scene, making people who love you, care for you, begin to hate you. Today, in the name of Jesus, such power shall bow for you. The second time Jesus turns to Peter and says to Peter, Satan, get thee behind me. He was not talking to Peter. He was addressing the voice that was speaking through Peter. It, it wasn't Peter that said to Jesus, don't go and die. That was the voice of the devil. Meaning that every one of us must begin to listen to the voice of God and the voice of the devil. Who? Can I talk to you again? Watch this. The brothers of Joseph said, let us sell our brother. That was not their voice. That was the voice of the devil. That means you must begin to pray for the spirit of discernment to know when your staff is saying what is not correct. To know when your neighbor, to know when your uncle, somebody is saying what is not the plan of God. Sometimes good advices are not the will of God. Can I rewind that? Sometimes people can give you good advice, but it's not the plan of God for your life. And that's why when you listen to good advices, you must also ask God, what is your will concerning my life? And so the Bible says, this man is afflicted for years, kept under bondage, because there were certain spirits that operated around his life. Now watch this. When Jesus arrived on the other side, the Bible says the demons ran and worshipped him. Meaning that they can be in church. People the devil wants to use to attack us are no more outside the church. They are within the church. He passes through people who are not spiritually sensitive to get to you. Now watch this. So he goes to him, and then the spirit begins to worship him. 
And Jesus rebukes the spirit. Please stay with me, you will catch something. And if you go back, read, the demons started negotiating. That's why, listen, Hurricane was negotiating with me. And I said, no, you will bow. Mm -hmm. Listen carefully. When you go back, read, the demon said to Jesus, don't send us out of this territory. Meaning that if they leave your home, they can enter your child, they can enter your wife, they can enter somebody. That's why you are representing somebody. Now watch this. And Jesus says to the demons, get out and enter pig swine. And the Bible said they ran into the sea. When they ran into the sea, there was chaos. What is causing all this problem? Certain demons that we drove them out. They are coming back to attack us. Watch this. I prayed with, I talked to them, they talked to me. They said, hey, you are coming to Houston, we will deal with you. I said, not me. It took me five days to get to Houston. From my, no, no, seven days. I left my house on Tuesday, I arrived here on Monday. I got to the airport, my flight refused to fly me. Wednesday, they said, sorry, you can't fly. I went back on Thursday, they said, sorry, you can't fly. And I looked at the guys, I rebuked that voice. He said, what did you say? I said, I said nothing. And he said, give me your papers again. And then he goes to check and my name is there. But two minutes before, he says, you are not on this flight. Why? Because the devil knew that a personality arriving here is a problem. There's something that will happen to somebody. So they tried stopping me. I got into the US and the flight that was to take me said, sorry, you can't fly to Houston. <coughs> What's wrong? The next day I came Saturday, they say you can't fly. Sunday, I had to fly to Dallas and fly here. And when I got into Dallas, they said, sorry, we are taking you to where that Baltimore saw. I said, my friend, I'm going to Houston. I finally got here from Tuesday or Monday. That is a long trip. Why? Because I know how to pray. And then, of course, Wednesday, everything is going on well. Thursday, they say hurricane. And I said, I know where you are coming from. You want to stop that sister? And let me shock you. This rain was designed by the devil to stop somebody from getting blessed. Yeah. And I dare you, you that came out, something is going to happen in Jesus' name. Yeah. Meaning that it has to do with spiritual sensitivity. I know thousands of pastors. I know a couple of people here. But God said to me, don't do that. I know Many, I preach in many churches here. Yes. I have many friends here. But God said, no, I'm not sending you to Houston to your friends. I'm sending you to Houston to solve the problem. Today is not Bible study. Today is designed by God for somebody. Amen. And if you're that person ready, stand to your feet and say your amen loud. Amen. Now watch this. When the demons hear, get out. They negotiated, stayed around the territory. And what was the next problem? Swines. Somebody's found. Listen to me, whether you like it or not, between today and Monday, so many things will be destroyed. Amen. People's life will turn around. Some will get richer, some will get worse. But not about you. Amen. We will only hear rumors of hurricane, but it will never get to Amen. us. In the name of Jesus. Meaning that for every man today, I'm going to look at your life, not physically, but spiritually. Because behind the curtain, there might be a problem. There might be something you don't understand. There might be a case that you don't understand. You are trying your physical mind and it's not working. There are seven things behind the curtain that is fighting the battle. But today I lift my hand. As you say amen to this prayer, let God turn things around for you. Now before I take you deeper, thank God for our brother. They call him Che here. Che man, please celebrate him. Um, I'm calling him Mr. Will because his life is going to minister to thousands of people. Amen. I know uh, uh, Willie. Back in Nigeria, I went to a certain family to pray. And while I'm praying, his name comes up. Who is Willie that is in America? I've never met him before. I met him just a few days ago. And I said, whoever is Willie in America needs attention from God. I've never met him before. 
And then they say, yes, we have one of our uncles, a big brother, he's in the U.S. and things are, he's sick. And then we begin to talk and begin to pray. The good thing is that he, Mumosos, the Nigerian language, believed. When I tell him fast, he will fast. When I say pray, he will pray. Amen. And we started praying. The case became worse. But listen, just like today, when, when you get close to me, you will know that I'm a fearless person. Yes. Oh my God. The case became worse. Doctors gave up almost on him. He was taken into a theater, but he kept calling. He said, Pastor. I said, trust God, you are going to stand up. Amen. I'm coming to visit you and I'm coming to eat in your house. Amen. And when he finishes, I kneel down. I said, God, I'm going to eat in his house. Amen. You can't kill him. The mistake is the devil allowed him to connect to me. By talking to him, he cannot die. Amen. And we continued to pray. Doctors took him into a theater and brought him out. They couldn't solve the problem. But today, does he look like a sick person? Restored a hundred percent. Doctors fell, but God did not fail. That's why he's here today. And I'm so happy because God is going to take him into the next level. If you are ready for your own personal testimony, say amen. But listen, today wouldn't have been complete if he didn't share testimony. The house I went to pray for, I told them they should get ready that armed robbers are coming. But that God would give them victory. He shared a testimony today. The sister called him today. How many were? 20? 15. 15 armed robbers to one person's house. Is that not suicide? But can I show you something they did not know? Isaiah 45 said, I will go ahead of you. Yeah. I will make the crooked places straight. Before they got to the house, angels were already there. And oh, to the glory of God, victory was given to them. Before the new police came and rescued that family. Because before that day, God saw it ahead of them. It was a demonic attack. Today, I kneel on your behalf. Any power that will not allow you break forth on every side. I command them to bow in the name of Jesus. I need to teach you when the lion in me wakes up, it's not good. Every spirit that will not allow you break forth on any side of your life, I stand in the name of Jesus that died and resurrected. That power shall bow for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, something is happening. Something is happening. Jesus, help me here. Uh, I see miracles already happening. And then the second woman is a woman that has an issue of blood for 12 years. I keep telling people an issue of blood is a private problem that on the outside, people see you, they smile. But in the inside, you are dying. The clothes can cover you or makeup can cover your pain. Your hair can cover your tears. But when everybody leaves you, there is something you need God to fix for you. And the Bible says she suffered for 12 years, meaning that money failed her. But there is a God that does not fail. Every private problem you can't share with your neighbor, with your husband, with your wife, with your sister. Everything you are going through that is causing you pain. In a more as you say amen to this prayer, let God turn it around for you. That's why the hurricane is not for people like us. It's coming to do his mission. I'm coming to do my mission. When the classes with me it will bow for me. Uh, when the rain was coming, I went out outside. I had pictures and I stood under the rain. Everybody were looking at me. I said, My name is Apostle Andy. You will hear the word of the Lord. The meaning will still hold. Can I say this? The summary of chapter 5 of the book of Mark was only three people. So already we are more than three. I didn't come for everybody. I came for one person. Because by this time next year, when God is through with you, the walls are gathered to look for you. Friends are look for you. Hey, Rabakaya, some things are happening in your life. If you say amen, stand up and say that amen and God will do it for you. Uh, thank God I saw my sister all the way down. That was a far distance. I didn't even expect her. But she came. But the last time I was here in the March, 
I think March, April, we prayed together. And she shared a testimony a few days ago. She said, I've been in the U.S. how long? 14 years. And just a few days back, she had her first confirmed staff work. Amen. She's now a confirmed staff. 14 years of waiting is not late. God can turn it around in a few days. Amen. Meaning that everybody's season might not be today. Tomorrow might be your turn. Life is turn by turn. But everything you are facing in your life, there shall be a turnaround in Jesus' name. Amen. But now this is where I want everybody to look at. The woman with the issue of blood sat in a house and problem increased. And then one day she makes up her mind when she heard about Jesus. Is I will go and touch. I will not talk to him because I've run out of money. I will touch the hem of his garment. Look at this. When she touched Jesus, Jesus says, somebody has touched me. But watch. The disciples again, that's why you must be able to discern strange voices. Turns to him and say, how do you talk about touching? Everybody's touching you. Jesus said, no. Everybody's playing with my body, but only one person touched. Can I shock you? The crowd might have come for this conference if rain did not fall, but I didn't come for the crowd. Yes, one person. Yes, the person that will touch by faith. Why are you here? Because the conference, somebody invited you. I, no. You must be here because you want to meet with Jesus. Yeah. The woman said, you people are playing with his clothes. But I came for a reason. And when she stretched, they pushed her back. She said, I'm not going to give up. They laughed at her. She was smiling by now. But she said, no, 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 I'm not going to give up. There is something I need that if I keep quiet, I will miss it again. I've suffered for 12 years. That's why my problem is not your problem. My face is not your face. What I go through might not be what you're going through. So I came for God to turn it around for me. If you're that person, say your name aloud. Amen. And so her face says, touch the hand of his garment and she stretches her head and touches the hem of his garment and then a miracle happens and what was the miracle her issue of blood stopped instantly when the issue of blood stopped jesus said who touched me the woman said i'm the person that touched you i came deliberately for the service all that came to play but i came because i've suffered for too long and i don't want to suffer anymore and the bible says and jesus said thy faith has made you whole. Yeah. Meaning that you don't need my faith, you need your faith. Yeah. If your faith says shout, then you shout. Yeah. If your faith says jump, then jump. Yeah. The reason why you left your house is because you knew that God will do something for you. Yeah. I dare you don't go back the same. Yeah. Something must happen in your life. Yeah. Your story must turn around. Yeah. Your finances must turn around. Yeah. Your marriage must turn around. Yeah. If you're not person stand and turn around and say your amen. And can I say this to somebody? I don't like organized people. You can disrupt this service Woo! and shout if your face says shout. Uh, organized people don't receive from God. Four friends Woo! broke the roof of a house. What people saw as violence, God saw it as faith. Yeah. When they dropped their friend, Jesus did not say you are violent. He said thy faith has made thy friend whole. Yeah. Meaning you can stand in the gap for your brother, for your sister. Yeah. If you say amen, then it will happen. Yeah. And lastly, the last person is a rich, influential, powerful man by name Jarius. He walks to Jesus and says to Jesus, come to my house. And please listen to the mystery. Jesus leaves the crowd. And he's in a crusade and one person tells him, leave. And he left. Jesus is not a God of crowd. Study about Jesus' miracles once in a while. He can go for a meeting, only one blind will see. In the whole city was not only blind Bartimaeus, but only blind Bartimaeus' eyes open. Can you be the next person that God will talk?
much. Amen. Let me begin to take it to a close. Look at this. While Jesus follows him, the woman with the issue of blood interrupts and touches. So Jesus spends more time. And then people come to Jesus and say, It's late. Jairus, have you not heard there is hurricane in Houston? Why do you take risk to drive your car? What if flood comes? They told Jairus, Stop. Your little daughter you ran to Jesus is already there. You are wasting time. And Jesus turns and said, Only believe. When I start the thing, I don't stop it. I take it to the end. Jairus said, But did you hear that my child is already dead? And Jesus reminds Jairus, I am the resurrection and the life. Everything I start, I can finish. Anything I alpha, I will omega. Anything I begin, I will complete it. The Bible says he's a faithful God. Whatever he started, he will complete it. He says it's the beginning and the last, not the middle. You might go through storms, but the storms can't stop you. You might go through failure, but the failure will not stop you. Rejoice not for my enemies. For for though I fall, for though I'm broken, for though my marriage is shaking, yeah. I shall rise again. Yeah. There is room for another season in your life. Yeah. Uh, you might have been broke, but they will bounce back. Yeah. Things were walking upside down, then it will turn around. Yeah. I don't know who I came to talk to, but there is another chariot that God is about to turn things yeah. around. Yeah. If you're that person, wave your hand and say, receive it. And then Jesus says, only believe, let's get to your house. And when it gets there, please, the last set of people you must be careful are those that cheer you, but they don't like you. Uh -huh. hey, uh -huh. They smile me. at you, but the they white, don't white, like you. Hey, like, uh, the Bible says the same people were wailing and crying, but they sent somebody to go and tell Jairus, the little girl is there. Uh, why didn't they pray? There are people in your life that will cause you to go down. Can I pray a prayer for you? May God push such people out of your life. Amen. There are lots in your life that cause no problem. They have to live your life Amen. for something to happen. Amen. And look at what Jesus does. And, and be careful, oh my God. When Jesus gets there, he tells Thomas first, his disciple, wait here. Meaning some of you are going to drop your friends. Amen. Your colleagues. Some Amen. people close. Neighbors. Amen. Uh, Amen. Some people close. Uh, he says to Thomas, wait here. Uh, Judas, wait here. Uh, Bartholomew, some of you, wait here. He went into the house with only three. Meaning that you must learn to reduce your size of friends. The more friends you have, the more trouble you will get into. Uh, your, your circle of friends must be guarded. Nobody chooses to be my friend. I choose who should be my friend. I greet everybody. I'm nice to everybody. But everybody can enter my circle of friendship. I protect it. I guard it. I'm careful who comes into my circle of relationship. Because show me your friend, I'll tell you your future. When you walk with idiots, you become an idiot. When you walk with failures, you become a failure. But he that walks with the wise shall get wise. I pray for you. May God give you the right circle of relationship in Jesus' name. And then he gets to the house, he said, you, 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 get out. People that cry too much are not good around you. People that lament and complain too much, they're not good people. That's why people that tell me, my apostle, do you think the meeting should... You know it's Houston, you know it's America. You know the way you think in Nigeria. Can I shock you, I passed up a church under the rain for 12 calendar months. 12. Every Wednesday, rain will beat me. And people say, you are mad. God trained me to face the storms. Mm -hmm. There's a lady that was supposed to come here, Kanamkwe. Uh, I, I don't know if she'll still come tomorrow. But one day she came to church and I wanted to dedicate a car for a brother. And rain was falling. And I said to the rain, listen, my name is Apostle Andy. Hold your peace. At the count of 30, you will stop. And I want to dedicate the car. And I said, short count. And I said, if it doesn't stop, I resign back. And my wife started tapping me. He said, don't, don't, what if it doesn't stop? I said, no, because until you push God, God will never be moved. Yeah. 
that's why Christians are allowing the devil to take over. You know the story in Nigeria, somebody tried Islamizing Nigeria. We stood up January and said, get out of this place. And he will only be sick and he will return to see rats. But to govern, it's not possible. We decide, nobody decides. Yeah. We take decisions, nobody takes decisions. Right. And I said, I can't preach without my hands towards the mixer. And I said, in the name of Jesus, mixer, hear the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, say to the mountain, Mountains are mixers. Mm -hmm. Mountains are cars. Yeah. Mountains are hurricane. Yeah. Mountains are cancer. Mm -hmm. Things that say it's not possible. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And when we speak to the mixer, he started walking. A woman got up and bought the church a new equipment. He said, don't waste the anointing of mixer. I can buy you new ones. Mm -hmm. How can you talk to a power amplifier that is not working? And it begins to walk. Mm -hmm. I said, God answers prayer. Amen. Can I promise somebody something? He will answer your prayer. Amen. Amen. And then Jesus drives the people out when he steps in. Watch me. The devil fights first the man, second the woman, thirdly the children. For every parent here, listen to me. Your target is to pray for your children. Yeah. When the devil tries to get to you, man, Adam, he cannot. He will use him, your wife. Yeah. When he can't pass through your wife, he will use your prodigal son. Mm. Mm. He must hit one of your children to get to you. Mm. That's why when I said pray, you will call all your children's names and not you. You will not be the prodigal daughter, the mm. prodigal son. Something must always happen to get to you. That's why when you release your children back to school every day when you stand up pray for them. Yeah. Not my child, not my daughter, not my husband, not my wife, not my brother, not my sister. And then Jesus says to the little girl, rise and be healed. Yeah. And the story of Mark chapter 5 ends. Meaning that the storm in chapter 4 wanted to stop three persons. Mm. A man, a woman, and a child. Can we not look at it from this perspective? The symbol of a man is your finances. Mm. The Bible says, man that cannot provide funds. The strength of a man is not how handsome you are, but it's in the house you have. We call it handsome. When your hand carries something, you are handsome. It's not about the face, the height. Listen to me, the secret of life is money. When once you don't have money, you will get depressed. So this man is afflicted financially, afflicted. That's why we're going to bind the spirit of poverty, the spirit of lack, the spirit of debt. Whatever makes you have money, you can't account for it. Whatever makes people not to help you, whatever makes people not to open that door for you, we are going to take authority over it. And number two, the devil attacks your health. The woman whose health was attacked, she had money, but she was sick. Doctors could not help, meaning that it's not every doctor's report that you believe. Doctor's report is a suggestion. God gives the healing. Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, I will restore to you health and bring you cure. Meaning that I need good health. You and your dream is good health. You can become anything you desire if you live in good health. And I pray for you. May God give you good health in Jesus' name. And the last dimension is your children. When you have money, you have good health. You need God to protect your children. If he's not, Trust me, they will hit you. They will hit you through your children. Make your son sick. Make your daughter have problems. Make them abused. And so many things will happen. But God will help us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I'm going to begin to wrap up, if you look at the three people they had expectation, mm -hmm. they didn't go like the crowd to Jesus. The man that was possessed went for healing. Mm -hmm. He got it. The woman with the issue of blood went for her healing. He got it. Jairus went to Jesus for the daughter. Got it. Can I tell you something? That your desire can come to pass. Amen. That your dream can come to pass. Amen. That your prayer can come to pass. Amen. Let's rise to our feet. Amen.
Lift your hands. Drop everything in your hand. I want you to pray these three dimensions. Every attack on my finances, on my health, my children, my family. Let God turn it around for me. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Every demonic attack, wherever it's coming from, every satanic operation, manifestation, a grand old, it can come like natural causes, a hurricane problem. It can come like sickness, the devil is a liar. I receive my healing, I receive my breakthrough. Rebuke the spirit that attacks your finances. Rebuke the spirit that attacks your health. Rebuke the spirit that attacks your family, your children, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister. Oh my God, it's not okay to follow God and not have a testimony. Uh, it's not okay to follow God and not have a testimony. There must be a turn around. Somebody talk to God. Somebody talk to God. Make a way out of nowhere. Open the door out of no door. Make the impossible possible. Make something happen in my life. Uh, the devil is a liar. You can't stop me. You can't stop my children. You can't attack my health. You can't attack my finances. I must be fulfilled. That which I desire must come to power. Please open your mouth and begin to talk to God. This is about the most important time I've finished charging your faith. I want you to ask God. I want you to ask God. I want you to ask God. I want you to ask God for something. I want you to ask God for something. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. You can start from there. And everybody stretch your hand. It's now time to release the grace for you to move to your next level. In Karato Shabalaha. When I say I release it, say I receive it. Uh, Peter looked at the man and said, Such as I have, I give to you. There is a level better than the level that you are. There is a life sweeter than the life and the position you are. There is income better than where you are. There is a life higher than where you operate. Oh, Granima Zupratika Shaba. There's a side of this city that is very expensive. You can get two properties there. There is nothing wrong. I want you to stretch your hand and begin to pray, Father. I cannot come against hurricane, against news, not to move. I didn't come to play. I didn't come to look at things. I came to receive. Begin to place a demand on the area you want God to touch you. Or Open the floodgates. There is an aspect of your life that God has to fix. There is an aspect of your life that God must do for you. I don't know who you are, but I know God can do it. Mm. I know God can do it. I know God can do it. I know God can do it. Agashaba. Egarono Shongri Araba. Riyabra has gongri halaha. Igrodi Bazuzuri Kadushaha. Begin to talk to God. There's a dimension of life. Oh, there's a dimension of life you want to enter. There's a dimension of life. Begin to pray. Let there be a prophetic cloud over your head. Let there be a prophetic cloud over your life. Let there be a prophetic cloud over your destiny. I rebuke sickness, cancer, ulcer, sickness to my children, sickness to my life, my husband, my wife. Rebuke that spirit that say you will die young. And begin to declare, I shall not die, but I shall live. And declare the good works of the Lord. The Riara has Sombra Hataka, Mombro to Sura Gadabaha, Mondi Katabaha. Thank you, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen. One prayer before I begin to pray for one or two persons. Now, Jesus went into Peter's life, he said, Stop toiling. Hard work is absence also of grace. If everything you have in your life is as a result of only hard work, you are not enjoying the grace of God. I call it the help of God. What do I mean by grace? Great result accompanying common effort. Meaning that your little effort will produce result. If everything you have in your life is only hard work, you are not enjoying the help of God. You are going to pray for the help of God. Now watch this. What did Abraham do that money came to him? Nothing. 
People say, without walking, you won't eat. That's not true. Your walk is one channel that God can bless you. Amen. The help of God is another channel Amen. that God will help you. Amen. I share testimony. There's a man I just met a few days ago here, two days ago. And he says to me, I want to come to Nigeria. And um, I need to go into oil and gas. And I said, so why not? He said, I don't know. I, I've never had access. And I said, number one, I'm the access you needed. Hallelujah. Can I pray with you? He said, no problem. We prayed. And I carried my phone, made one call, second call. He's supposed to be in this service, but he's having a meeting with a senator mm. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Where is the senator of Houston? Where am I? Houston. Where is the man? Houston. Where do you live? Florida. What are you doing in Houston? I came for vacation. But I mentioned to someone and someone mentioned me. Can I say this to you? The man you are looking for is three people away from you. The breakthrough you are looking for is three people away from you. That million in dollars you are looking for is three persons away. Amen. God will connect you to that person that will connect you to that person that will connect you to that person. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I made a call this morning. He woke me up. He said, do you know that they are calling me? They want to have a meeting. And I said, what do you mean? He said, the man I'm looking for in Nigeria is already here. Yes. And this afternoon, the man called him. He said, put everything in writing and bring to me. Eh? Pastor, you mean it can work like that two days? And I said to him, maybe that's why I came to Houston. The storm cannot stop it. Amen. What's the difference? When you come in contact with grace, this grace will go. Amen. But who needs that grace? I want you to see your level in another. When I come back next year, you can't be in this level again. Amen. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I receive the grace for a turn around in my life. Amen. Say amen. amen. Open your eyes. The difference between anointing and anointing is power. Power is ability to do work. Grace is different. In Acts chapter 2, Peter is anointed with the Holy Ghost and power. Acts chapter 3, he raises a critical man, but he was poor. He had 3,000 useless people added to his life. Meaning that I'm going to pray some people to get out of your life. Amen. In Acts chapter 4, the Bible says, with great grace, it came upon him. And when grace came upon Peter, he did not raise a cripple, do any miracle. People were selling their lands and dropping it at the feet of who? Peter. In Acts chapter 5, Ananias and Sapphira were killed. Money was given to Peter. In Acts chapter 6, the Bible said, Peter said, gather seven men that we may hand over this business. Mm. Who was Peter? A useless man came in contact with grace. Church became business. Amen. Who wants that dimension? I didn't come for everybody, but I perceive one person is here. Amen. Lift your hand. Say, Lord, today is my turn. I won't go back the same. Open your mouth, turn it to prayer. Yes, Jesus loves me. Loves you, that's why you are here. I say, yes, Jesus loves me. I say, yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. He will touch me. <laughs> he will touch me. I know that joy will fill your heart. I tell you, something will happen. make that your prayer. Touch me, Lord. He will touch me. He will touch me. I know that joy will feed your 
times to go back and things don't work. But I hear the Lord say, I'll give you a key that will unlock it. Amen. There will come a season in your life that they will look for you because this key will open a Nigerian door for you. Amen. There's a position of honor, a place of favor, a place of, in Erebriato, in the spirit realm, that's always been your prayer, that you will have to go back and do something in your country, in your state. But you've tried, but the key was not given. But I hear the Lord say, the key will be given to you today. Yeah. I say, something will happen. And then you will know he will touch you and make you whole. I hear the Lord say, you are David, you are king of Judah. What you are doing is Judah, governing Judah. But I'll take you to a place called Israel. Amen. When everybody shall bow. Amen. I don't know whether it will be politics, whether it will be appointment, but there is a place that has a seat for you. Amen. I hear the Lord say, after this prayer, doors will begin to open. Invitation will begin to come. Opportunity. Those that did not talk to you will begin to talk to you. But I hear the Lord say, Miriano Sobratia, Madria, that before now your destiny was tied up. Uh, listen, if you study your life, you are blessed financially, but you are not satisfied. There is this emptiness in you. I hear the Lord say, that's what I want to feel. There is this leadership gift in you that has to be exercised. For I hear the Lord say, don't go for it, but I will create the opportunity for it. You will not need to fight for it. You will not need to struggle for it. But I will give apostle, the word has come to pass. I lift you up. Please uh, bring this thing for me. Something. Please keep it there. You know the former finance minister, the lady or a conjurer. She was living outside Nigeria. One day they looked for her to save her country. Says the Lord, one day it will be long. There will be a call. Amen. 
There's a place of honor. Because in the assignment of God, you are not to die in a strange land. There's an assignment in Africa. Please take your seat. A place of honor, says the Spirit of the Lord. A place that you will enter without your struggle. I hear the Lord say, am I not God that made Joseph step into a prime minister's office without his human qualification? When I qualify, nobody can say no. Amen. I release that place of honor. Amen. Write it down one day. It will happen. Amen. It will happen. Amen. Says the Lord. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. It is now. Amen. Can I close your eyes? I breathe that favor. <laughs> Anywhere you enter from today. Jesus, he will touch you. <laughs> Receive it. Amen. Some of the clap for Jesus. Amen. Lift your hands and look. You can go back to your seat. Please, can I talk to you, Gloria? Please, let me pray with you. I know you're married. Are you ready for God to bless your home with every good thing? How many kids? Don't have another one. Mm. That's okay. For his good. There's going to be a visitation in your home that will make you smile. Amen. Every battle you are going through in your home shall turn around for your testimony. Amen. That voice that is speaking against your home, I silence it. Amen. I hear the Lord say there's going to be settlement for you in this land. For I will open a door for you and I'll bless you. And you shall know I have blessed you. I will pick you up from the Marie Claire and I shall set you up on a solid rock. A place of unusual favor that your little effort shall produce tangible results. The Lord bless you. The Lord lift you. None shall die around you. None shall die around you. It is well. I lift you into a season of blessing. You believe in the Holy Spirit? Close your eyes. He will touch you. Amen. You hold a new dimension of grace and unction. Something is happening. I know he says it so. He will touch you and make you whole. I hear the Lord say, You are not satisfied with your financial life. He's going to open another better door for you. Says the Spirit of the Lord. He will open your eyes to see what to do, how to do, when to do it. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Somebody lift your hands and wave. Receive your miracle. The Lord say He will restore your finances again. Amen. As I'm standing, I see money around you. But then I see canker worm begin to eat it. And palmer worm. I see caterpillar and lucas begin to eat your finances. But I hear the Lord say, this conference was designed for you. There's going to be a door that will open suddenly again. I hear the Lord say, I've opened that door before. But I'll open it again. Amen. Amen. In the spirit realm, the reason why I hear the Lord called you chairman is that because you were in money and people used to chain you not because of a chieftaincy, but because there was money around you. Am I correct? Am I correct, sir? Talk to me. Yeah. But I hear the Lord say, I'm going to bring that glory back to you. For there is a dimension of wealth you desired, but it's been denied to you. But I hear the Lord say, I'm going to bring it back to you. 
for the canker worms and the palmer worms and the caterpillar that eat up your finances and hands off. There's going to be a divine visitation. Someone is going to come and it's going to be a good breakthrough. For says the Lord, you are a giver. You help people. You assist people. You've done so many things for so many, but they turn against you. But I hear the Lord say, one of them will come back. I will pay homage and your story will change. I see a door open. I see favor come. I see a sound of abundance of blessing. Release. <laughs> In your heart, you desire to give to God. But you don't have. But you say, God, I dare you if you give me, I will do something for you. I hear the Lord say, I heard you when you said that. When you sat in your inner chamber and said, I wish I had money. The Lord said, while you were wishing, he heard and he will do it. Amen. I hear the Lord say, the wind that blew your finances away have been arrested by God. Amen. There's a wind of good things. Let me hold your hand. I lift you. Join your hand. How many people would like to hear this testimony? Yes. Let me tell you. Today is a few days ago you sat in your house. And while sitting, you said in your mind, I wish when I had money, I would have given up for Randy. Was I there? Did you tell me when you said that? And you said, well, one day I will have. Was I there? The Lord said, collect the money and give it to him. Because you have the heart, he will give you the resources. <laughs> I see someone you helped many years ago that forgot about you. That after today, God will talk to him and he will return. There's going to be a door that will open for you. I hear the Lord say people are backstabbed in different aspects. That you even are scared of people. As I'm standing, I see thousands of people around you. But right now, they don't come around you. Am I talking? And I hear the Lord say, I'll restore your latter glory better than your former glory. Yeah. For the Egyptians you saw yesterday, Kabo Shataba, you will see them no more. Amen. There's going to be an open door. There's going to be an open door. Amen. There's going to be an open door. Amen. Doors will open even in Florida, places you never, I don't know if there's a place called Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's going to be help. A door will open. I see somebody, I see a woman as if in way this woman was a patient to you that has left many years ago, but God has blessed this person that will come back and look for you. Amen. I see a door opening for your wife. Uh, it's a new door. It's not the business. It's a new door. Amen. But it still has to do with medicals and things. But it's opening, it's opening, it's opening, it's opening, it's opening for her. I don't know if she's back to school. She's trying to let her go back to school because there's a door after school. There's something, there's a course that God will give her to study that will open a mega door. I release it to her. Amen. Your finances are restored. Amen. No hundredfold, two hundredfold. I see your things that were stopped up released to you. <laughs> I see the battles you were fighting come to an end. Amen. Victory. Amen. Blessing. Amen. Blessing. Amen. Blessing. Amen. Blessing. Amen. Blessing. Amen. Did you mow any blocks back in the village? But you didn't lift it. Not because I'm in a certain place, I see blocks. And I see someone carry one of the blocks and break it. As, as I break this block, but I'm not hearing them call you Willie. Do they have a name they call you back in the village? What is that? Oh, fear. Because I'm not hearing. Ah, so I thought somebody was going to clap for Jesus. They're not calling you Willie. They're calling you a local fear. 
and they carry the blocks that you molded. I think you wanted to do something and they broke one of it. And as they broke it, they say, may your finances scatter into pieces. But I hear the Lord say, I shall gather from the north from the south. <laughs> For the other code, there's going to be a gathering on your behalf. For I shall fight. Right as we speak, God has moved to the village. Before December, somebody will go for you. Those that fought you, fought you, they're going to go down for your rising, says the Spirit of the Lord. I see a God that enters a farm to carry the broken pieces of the blocks, and he mends it back. Amen. Get ready. Something will happen. The footsteps of the righteous. You are going to walk into a breakthrough. Amen. Says the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Somebody wave your hands and begin to thank you. Something. Please sit. Has happened. Let me talk to you, Victor. And now. Hello. He will touch me. Ten dollar bill here. The Lord said he wants to raise you a millionaire in America. I want you to write down between today and two August, the next year and the upper. When I return, you shall be mega. You will take me business class from Nigeria here, lodge me in a five star hotel. I need this on camera. Says this with I hear the Lord say you have worked in America and they've cheated you. You have saved people, they've looked down on you. But it's now time to look up to you. I hear the Lord say you have a good heart. You do things for people, but they don't reward you. They don't bless you, they laugh at you, they look down on you. But I hear the Lord say this meeting was arranged to lift you. I hear the Lord say there's going to be a sound of blessing. There's going to be a God. In the spirit realm before this meeting, something said to you, there's something with Apostle Andy and you. Am I correct? Yes. Did you tell me? Did you tell me, sister? But your spirit said there is something connecting me. I don't know. I just like Apostle Andy. I don't know why. Uh, no, I came with grace. The Lord said, plant a $10 bill. Yes, sir. I will add zeros. Amen. It will enter into millions. Listen. Listen. For you, you have no destiny in Nigeria. Your destiny is here. I'm talking about six, seven zeros in dollars. No, no, you, you don't understand. I, I'd like you to understand where you are working is wilderness. That's not your promised land. It will take you out. You are walking to survive. The Lord said, did not create you to survive. Yeah. That you are a giver. You are a big man in a small container. You love helping people. Yeah. But they turn and stop you. Yeah. And I hear the Lord say, you have not stopped helping. Yeah. It's your turn. Yeah. I release favor. I release your destiny helper to connect. Listen, a destiny helper is somebody that helps you and does not ask you what's your name. It's after they finish helping you, they say, you know, I don't even know your name. Grace! Only two years, starting from today, you will receive a life-transforming call that will reposition you. For I hear the Lord say you have served faithfully. It's now time for people to serve you. Amen. Can you become big? Can you behave like a big man? Rise. 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 I am grano. You're going to become a big man in a small container. Amen. Let your size not deceive you. When next I come, you'll be giving instruction to people. I see blessing, money, I see favor. It's bigger than you, but God said, I will take you there. Yes. For you are Joseph. Yes. For you are Joseph. Yes. There's something, a talent, a gift God will give you that America will look for you. 
hear this prophet. There is going to be a gift that nobody in America will solve except you. Amen. I don't know if you do things with computer, write yes. things. Yes. Start writing. You're, you're, What's your business name? In the spirit realm, I see cartoon. I see games. I see things that will bear that name. You are going to invent something that people will begin to buy. It has to do with computer inventing something that, oh my God, oh my God. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. A new season. It's a new season. It's a new day. Fresh anointing is coming your way. <laughs> Season of good things and laughter. And I see it. I see people gather around you to celebrate you. I see honor coming your way. Are you up to 33? No. Please write down my name, time. When you are 33, you are going to sit in millions. Amen. The money you can handle. Woo. I see God say, between 30 was the beginning of Jesus' ministry. Have you done your birthday yet? Yes. He said, that was the beginning of your Jesus' ministry. Yes. A season of explosion. Amen. Starting from today. Before you are 33, you will sit on money, you'll be signing checks and helping people. Yes. Things will happen. You have a passion to send things to Africa, it will happen. Am I correct? No wait. You always wish you had money to send help to Africa. But your spirit says, don't live in Africa. Am I talking? Yes. You'll be sending containers to help people back in Africa. Amen. But you won't go back. Amen. Because your own destiny. Amen. Is here. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Somebody received something from I don't know. Everybody has a person. Let me talk to you. I'll pray for two persons with close. Shari about that. Come, a healer sin. Is that your name? I pronounced it right. The covenant in your mother's house will be broken over your life. Amen. For I see wedding upon wedding upon wedding. I hear the Lord say that the covenant concerning you will be broken. Amen. <laughs> I hear the Lord say, he that laughs last shall laugh the best. Yes. I see you cry. I see you feel bad. It's just that you are a lion, you fight it out. But it's not all okay. But I hear I'll see you have a heart, Kasha. Madam, can I hold your hand? Come. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. When the storms came this afternoon, you stand up and said, I need to go for that meeting. I don't know what rain is doing. Hurry up. Hold it for me. Am I correct? You said rain. Whatever you are doing, stop. I need to. Did you say that? Yes. Was I there? No. Did you pray that prayer? I hear the Lord say, give her your mantle to wipe her tears. For today is the last time you will ever cry. your voice and say, Lord, thy glory fill the heaven. Lord, thy glory, yes, yes. fill 
Jesus, be heaven. As we sing, Ero, it's un abrigo ori ariara, so brincati el ero ribreye, zandu johure, so rano jahi. This. The Lord said, wipe her tears. The Lord said, as he did it for you when you called on God to help you maritally, and he settled you and gave you a good home. The Lord said, Rihanna, tu I hear the Lord say, wipe her tears for her tongue to smile has come. cried, you have prayed, you have fasted, you've done everything, but things have refused to change, but I hear the Lord say, I'll change things. Oh, Makoshia! Manamosa! For even when you were coming, something told you, don't come, but you pressed. You pressed, you said, I'm not going to stay back, the storm has to give way. Something tried discouraging you, situations, but you said, I will go. Let me shock you the worst part of your coming here. You did not even have money. Come talk to me. Oh, Jesus. Do you have money on you? No. I hear the Lord say she doesn't even have money, but she said, I'm not going for money. I'll still go. The Lord said, I came ahead of you to prepare a place for you. For says the Lord, you are going to be like Ruth. You are going to meet your boss. Yeah. Said, I, I messed up your mother's life. Then I hear the Lord say, Fix on shall not rise up. The second time, I rip your gospel. No! You have children? You don't have. Are you ready for marriage? It's not this year, it's next year. If you step in this year, you will cry. I hear the Lord say, I want to give you boas. If I've seen your days of affliction and pain, I want to settle you. Oh, Baka. When, when you were coming, you were, oh my God, I don't have money. You have to sum up courage to come. Am I talking to you? And I'm also Kappa Shatter. And when you got here, God kept a parcel. Turn your hand. A new job. Amen. A seven is to one man. You know a man that is seven things to one. His money you are looking for. His breakthrough. is the happiness. is the joy. I hear the Lord say you have served him but you are not rewarded. Today he lifts you up. To the place of reward. It is done. Blessed assurance, lift your hands. Jesus is mine. Oh, hold it. Everybody, turn your hand. All parents, if you're a parent, lift your hand. Now, I hear three parents here right down today. Three. God is going to pick one of your children to the full light of the world. Amen. <laughs> There's someone in Florida that is sick and needs the help of God. I have no other God but you. We wait on you for 
fire, for fire. I see angels in this building sharing parcels and answers to prayer. Just right where you are, receive it. Receive your receive it. Oh, for fun. There is somebody under the sound of my voice who is saying, I want this pastor to pray for me. Who is that person? Lift your hand. You said it in your heart. Just right now. Come. Mercy, come. Oh my God. Lift your hand. The Lord, I should tell you, is going to comfort you beyond what you can imagine. Be you in holy. Tried and true with thanksgiving. There is an aspect of your life that is so private you've not talked to people about. But God wants to touch that part of you. Everybody, let's say, Oh Lord, prepare me a sanctuary. Let it be pure and holy. Pure and holy. Yes, Lord. Alam Groto Zubri and Anozu. We apart from you. Where is this mercy? The Lord said I should pray for a mercy around you that you will not hear bad news. May God reach that mercy and protect her. So I want to dedicate the message of the woman with the issue of blood. Certain things you can't talk about to anybody. Just you and your God. God said he's going to fix it. Amen. Before November 4th. Oh, I see an arrow shot directly into his chest. And I see him collapse. Is he hypertensive? is healed. We have to pray everybody for the Father. I see a call. Hey, I think a call about see him for this year. No, Father, for your name's sake, save this one. Hey, I me oh. Hey, I me oh. Me bidding about see who am me about Please turn your hand. What's your father's name? Do you know something echo? Do you know something echo? I see a son name. For the sake of Jesus and this meaning, may God help your father. Oh, Shabore Bahash Kiba. Tomorrow morning, call him and pray for him. But your father has agreed to go. That's the problem. And maybe I have to take it three days to negotiate. He's saying, I want to go. If you ask people around him, he's making such statement. Have you heard such yeah, statement? He Did you talk to me? He has agreed to go. Yeah. And two things, look at me. I want you to call your dad two things. God might help him, but it might be one of the last times you might speak to your father. It's, it's, he has agreed. He's telling me, no. Pastor, don't ask me to stay. I've finished my work. I want to go. 
And um, I'm trying to talk to God, but God is telling me he has agreed. So maybe I would also say you have to start preparing your mind. He, he wants to stay, but 80% say go. We have to negotiate. If you call people around him, he's saying those things. Every day. Father, if it pleases you, turn it around. For the sake of your daughter. The Lord say you pray for your husband, for God to lift him. Also pray to be ready for the position and blessing. Amen. It's too big. It's oversized. I want you to get ready. Get ready. May God help your father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Have you been close with children? You've close with children. Are you sure? You're very sure? I'm seeing a baby around you. Please pray. If you don't want again, pray. I see fresh, real fresh baby. I don't know what this baby doing around you. Oh God. Do I take it? Who wants a baby here? Please come. You married? No. No, 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 no. You married? You have four, right? I need more. Okay. Okay. Yes. I get more? Yes. No. No. Mm -hmm. no. Ahead. I see a baby given to you. I don't know whether you did family planning with your family. I beg God on your behalf. I want to carry it and give another person. Baby girl. Amen. You have how many? Three. Father, don't give another baby. Give her more blessing and money. Amen. But it will happen in Jesus' name. Come. Please turn your head and keep Turn your head. How far have you gone in school? Senior, you are science? You are science or arts too? Science? Science or arts? Arts. Keep your hand and come back to your academics. You will not die. Sickness will not take your life. If I say leukemia, what does it mean? Huh? You will not be sick. As I touch your hand, you will not die. I see an unusual sickness that will take your life. But God said, Not you. You will live to be happy. Peace that you cannot imagine is coming to your home. Joy unspeakable. There are things you've listed out for God to do for you. I hear the Lord say, we'll do one after the other. Is there anybody that came with a prayer request? A wind of favor is blowing into your home. A season of settlement for your home. Unusual blessing. You are a good woman, but not favored. You do things for others, but others don't do things for you. You help people, but others don't help you. The Lord said, after today, it will be your turn. Amen. That people will help you. Those who, are you working? He will settle you. Your prayers are answered. There's so much talent in you. Go to school. Your miracle is tied after school. You have a bright future. Your gift will be in your fingers. You will write things, do things with this hand that the world will be surprised. Receive favor. Answers. Testimony. There's this unusual grace and help that you will enjoy in life. My citizen, put your hands on my shoulder. 
your future will be great and colorful. Government shall be upon your shoulder honor. From the crown of your head, at the count of three, you can't stand this grace. The favor is heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. One, two. Leave her down, just leave her down. I pray for all children, may gifts and talents, unusual blessing be their portion. Receive it. Hold the baby and come so it doesn't cry. In Jesus. Bring it, bring Bring, hold the baby. I still pray with you and the baby. I'm going to close. Every other person, please open your hand. Jay, turn your hand. Uh, mommy has carried you now. Uh, she can't uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I command visa given to your husband Amen. the powers that said no to him will bow Amen. next year will be a year of fulfillment that spirit that said he can never make it he will not make it he will not break forth let that spirit bow Amen. Was who is it, Dorothy? You need Dorothy. Yes, sir. Who is it, Dorothy? He went with the person. He went with Dorothy to the embassy. Okay, let me stop here. Father. There are people in this one's life that is not supposed to be. Yes. There are lots and Delilah's. You know, Delilah means sunset. When Samson means sunrise. When sunset entered sunrise, sunrise became sunset. Anybody in your husband's life spiritually that blocks and hinders his advancement. As I hold your hand, I pull your husband out. By this prophetic function, by next year's summer, your husband will be here live with you. Father, I place a demand on grace. By this prophetic declaration, visa is given to your husband. Amen. Call his name three times. One. One. Two. I stamp your U.S. visa for you with immediate effect. Blessing. Receive your daughter. Do you have a name already for her? If I go choose a name for a daughter, show me about her. You will, you will conceive again. Amen. Says the Lord. Hallelujah. And next will be a daughter. Amen. Receive it. Amen. In the spiritual realm, you don't like your job that you are working. God is going to reposition you to a better place. You are just walking. But God said, I will change your status. Amen. It is done. Amen. In Jesus' name, it's done. All children are blessed, sons and daughters. In Jesus' name. Lastly, please, pastors, let me pray for pastors. Jay, come. You know I ordained you, sir. Thank you, sir. All pastors. Uh, the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. I want you as a minister. The worst part of ministry is to serve God and go empty-handed. The worst part of ministry. And I want to say the worst scripture in the Bible is Hebrews 11 verse 13. The Bible says some died in faith, controlled by faith, not receiving their promise. He just says, say, not me. Please turn your hand. I only shake your hands as ministers. You have a prayer request? Wow, somebody clap for Jesus. Wow. I heard God say somebody has a prayer request. Did you tell me? You talked to me about it. 
God says he's going to answer this prayer request. Just wave it. Just wave it. Just keep waving it. Please, man of God, I want you to ask God to settle you. I hear the word, do not muzzle the ox that trades the corn. You trade corns when it's time to settle you, they muzzle your mouth. Put a covering that you will not enjoy ministry. And I hear the Lord say, remove the covering that his labor of love will be rewarded. I want you to ask God for reward. Jay, God wants to give you money. He wants to settle you. Amen. Your time in the world has finished. It's time for Christ. Yes. I hear the Lord say, I'm going to use you as a messenger. You don't know who you are. You are a messenger. Yeah. You need to respond. Yeah. The Lord said, I allowed you to enjoy the world and know the world, but you have a message for the next generation. Cola. I hear the Lord say, I am happy for your cake business, but that's not what will give you breakthrough. Yes. Um, what will give you breakthrough is your discovery, your purpose. Yes, Lord. It's I created you as a messenger, an apostle. An apostle is one given a message for a people. I hear the Lord say, You are Mary Magdalene. For Jesus first appeared to a woman. The first apostle was not the 12 disciples, but was a woman. Because when Jesus came out of the grave, appeared first to a woman and said, Go and tell. The word go is from the Greek word, go and proclaim the gospel. I hear the Lord say, You, you, you do cakes, and sometimes you do it free for people money oh you are doing it because you are happy but that's not your purpose why did not create you to be a cake designer i created you to use your mouth and your life and tell people what jesus can do for i have put my word in your mouth but you are wondering how shall i do it i see you sit on tvs and interview people wounded the bad lives the men and women that have been wounded and when they speak with you there's healing coming to them i hear the lord say i'm going to open a door that you can not handle for says the spirit of the Lord I've called you to do my will and my will is to speak to people and talk to youths and women and wounded people and tell them there is hope for them it doesn't matter what they're going through it doesn't matter what they're facing for I will starve your finances till you respond to my purpose says the spirit of the Lord I promise you things I don't fulfill it because you're not doing my purpose says the spirit of the Lord my purpose is not cake cake is vocational things you do to make you happy your purpose is to take the gospel I see a TV presenter sit behind the TV and tell people about Jesus. I see wounded young girls and young men gather and you begin to feed them with the word of God and tell them the story of your past and begin to tell them there is hope. I hear the Lord have put a message of hope in your mouth. For you are wondering how come money is not answering to me. You work extremely hard, but money doesn't come. Because you are not in your area of purpose. For when you are not in your purpose, I will not make provision. But when you are in your area of purpose, I will provide for you. I hear the Lord say you will talk to people about wounded marriages, wounded relationships. For I will send you a husband. He won't just be a man. He will be a partner. He will be wounded too because he will have a message with you. I hear the Lord say, don't you talk to people and they get healed, yet you begin to wonder how come. You carry other people's problems like your problem, yet I've not blessed you. You work hard, but money doesn't come because I want you to step into purpose. Receive it. May God settle you. May God settle you. There's something me and you. Nothing will separate it. 
Sometimes you don't understand. There's this connection you have with me. Am I correct? There is something God wants to work out between two of us. Don't let go. The Lord said, when you go back before you sleep, sing this song. Nobody told me the road will be easy. Better. Don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. I can't just give up now. I've gone too far from where I started from. He said he will comfort you. Humanity knows time. Divinity does not understand time. You are calculating your testimonies based on time. God is calculating based on divinity. He will do what he said. He will comfort you and make you to laugh says the Spirit of the Lord. Just wave your hands, let's close. Father, I kneel before you. I demand that every request presented before you must come to pass. Your people did not come to meet with me, but they came to meet with Jesus. Touch them. Heal them. Have your way. For their families, bless each and every member. For those that were supposed to come, that rain stopped them, bless them. I stand on behalf of Houston and I demand that this storm and hurricane and flood will not take many lives. I raise a standard against it. The Bible says when the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise a standard. Raise a standard over the works of the enemy. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Let me hear your amen. amen. Before we close, we are going to give our offerings, our seed feeds. We are going to give to God. I wish rain didn't fall so we have a sweet time tomorrow. We might not likely have this meeting tomorrow. But let's just believe God. Might not. I don't know if there's a paper there. I don't know. We can send everybody text. I want to pray with everybody. I want to pray with everybody. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want people to make commitment. Um, when I was coming, God said to me, I would bless and finance this trip. And I said to God, I don't know what you're talking about, but take care of it. If there are pastors who are not in ministry for money, I'm one of them. I left money for full-time ministry. For some of you, if you know my family, my father is one of the wealthiest people, Central Supermarket, Metropolitan Guarantee Trust Bank, all those places. But I left it for Jesus. Jesus does not fail. Jesus will not fail you. In Jesus' name. I'm going to ask everyone to give as a partner and trust God for what I call seed fed. I studied agriculture. What you make happen for God, he gives you back a hundredfold. You don't give to God and go back to be sick. Hezekiah turned his face and faced the wall and said, God, remember. What will God remember you for? I tell people, do things for God that tomorrow he will use it to bless you. In Jesus' name. I want to pray for... You can make your seed fed, your offering, between today, three days, four days, maybe $200, $100, $50. Please come. Let me pray with you. You can make 200 or above 100 50 Please come. Don't give to me, but give to God. Please turn your hand and keep. It will be between you and God. I don't want to be part of it. 
between you and God. Between you and God. Tell God, as I release this seed, let something happen. In my life, in my family, in my home. Pray in your heart concerning that. Don't dash God money. It's not broke. He loves people to give cheerfully. Korea sha pratisha. He kalo so kriya masha kuli ala hari haski prania hasupas. Skosh kafri haski. There's somebody struggling. Should I go? Or should I not go out? Join. Let's pray. Don't fight it. Every other person pick a seed in your hand and offer it something. Is there anybody that knows a person by name Ukeme? Who is Ukeme? Your church. She's here. She's a lady. Dark. May God reach out to that person and bless that person. May that person not make mistakes in life. May God turn her path into a fruitful path. And may God cause harvest to come. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, I bind this problem that is supposed to come in America in the month of September. I just see big bloodshed in America. I lift my hand and I bind that spirit. That attack comes to an end. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Please open your eyes. I'm going to dedicate my hand and touch your hand. I'm going to ask God to bless you financially and in every area. Father, you said to me that when I put these hands in people's hands, you will prosper the works of their hands. I'm not here for money, but I'm here to raise me so that when next I'm back to Houston, they will know I'm your servant and that you are my God. Open seven multiple doors for them. Settle them and they will sit down and say, God has visited us. When the enemy comes to attack them, let the angel of God fight back and rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. None of you will give and go back to be sick. You won't give and go back to die. You won't give and the devil will attack your children. That spirit that attacked Job will never attack you. You will never be taken on a ways. It is done. May honor, money, favor, See, if you know what God has for you to hold, there's a place of honor looking for you. And it will happen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let God saturate you. In your spirit, you were excited while service was going on. God said, peace and joy will never cease from your life. There are secret prayers you prayed for your husband. He has answered all of them. He's going to establish you and settle you in this land. And in your old age shall give you retirement benefits. The years the canker worm had eaten are over. It's your turn to smile. Receive it. Congratulations. You can't beat the rain, the storm, the hurricane and come and go back the same. You made up your mind you will come. The storms could not stop you. Nothing on earth, humanly and spiritually possible, will stop you. Your prayers will not be hindered. They will all come to pass. In Jesus' name. Let's lift our offerings to us every other person. So Lord Jesus, as I release this seed, this offering, my life will never be the same. Touch me at the point of my needs. 
and request. Thank you for hearing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please, basket. Into the house of the Lord, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, as we offer unto Thee a sacrifice. Bring, let me put one. This Lord, as we offer unto Thee a sacrifice, this of prayer. In Jesus' name, two things and we close. Number one, we pray for Houston. No matter what the devil does, flood will not attack our homes. Amen. Hurricane will not uproot our homes. Amen. The wild wind will not get to us. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 91, we will hear rumors, but it will not get to us. Amen. Let's pray that prayer. Father, we pray for the city, the state of Texas, from the coastline to every part of it. We ask because we stood in the gap for the city. Let God help this city. Amen. Let God protect people in this city. Amen. The hurricane that they are saying is at level three or four, whatever, will become mild Amen. and will not kill many people. Amen. We rebuke that voice, that spirit that comes to take lives and destroy properties. Amen. We bind it and we ask that you bless us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly, turn your hand. We have prayed. We have believed. You must receive. Amen. Now, people go to receive in their house. It's not correct. You receive in service. That's why Hannah received the baby in service. And then conception took place. You are done with the offering? Amen. I will call. Okay, he will pray over the offering. At the end. Now, join your hands. Whatever you've asked God, no, 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 just you. You will receive. Mark 11, 24 said, pray, believe, and do what? Receive. It's now time to receive. Open your mouth and begin to thank God for the things He's done in advance. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Receive good health. Receive long life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Father, your people are praying. They have believed and they have received. From the moment we share the grace, I activate the answers immediately in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because the roads will not be flooded Amen. for our sake. Amen. Because of us, you will keep the road clear. Amen. Lord, no flight will crash Amen. in this season. Amen. We will take authority over that violent spirit that takes lives. Amen. Our homes will not be flooded. Amen. Our families will not be attacked. Amen. Thank you for hearing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before, please pray for the Our Father and our Lord, we give you thanks this evening. We thank you for all that you've done for us throughout today. Father, we present this offering before you. We pray, O oh Lord God, that may you bless it. Lord, we pray for the givers, those who have the intention to have given, but the way with them is not there. Father, we pray at this point that you bless them and you meet them at the point of needs. Bless this offering and let it be used for the pro progression of the kingdom of God, for we ask in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 As we are going to share the grace, please let me give you this. Just your name, uh, leave the okay. partnership. I'll be praying with you. And uh, you send me an email, I'll be praying with you. Let me also say this. Um, I've been praying with Willie over the phone. So, um, you don't have to see me every time. 
just a call. I do calls 24 hours at night in the morning and anytime. You can chat up with me at night anytime and I'll be praying with you. If you want to give a prayer request, you can at the end of service, that's right. I'll be praying for you. Uh, my number, um, if you need my number, it can be given to you. And uh, I'll be committed to praying for all of you. I'll trust God that he will honor all of you. Yes, please. Uh, we, I would have loved to, you know, that's why I'm here. If, if it's possible, let's just see the weather. Uh, the truth is, uh, in a prophetic service, one day is never enough. Uh, because in the course of you going, God will speak to you, God will show you things, and then you might remember a friend, a neighbor, somebody we can pray with. That's why uh, we love minimum two days. There's always a follow-up uh, when it comes to prophetic service. Uh, because... Um, like I came, I came to pray, basically for people. That's my basic calling. I'm not a good Bible study teacher. Um, my primary work is to solve problems. For those of you from Aquibum, if you ask the God, I put in there. They told me everything. I said, that's your waste of time. You will enter there. And um, the governor was to be part of this service, but because of uh, the issue that happened back home, um, let me also give you expo. Um, I had one or two politicians call me. Say, I want to be. I said I don't want you to come. I'm a very careful person. There are people that come and they take the glory of God. As this service is, I'm so fulfilled. Trust me. I'm so fulfilled that at least one person's life will be transformed in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming out against the storm. Is it still drizzling? Can you look outside? It won't flood today. We took authority. Lastly, I want you to do this. Um, this is what you'll do. We'll just study tomorrow. If it be possible, if the floods are not bad, like if I get your numbers, I can text. We'll just watch. It's 50-50. I wouldn't like people to take the risk. But if we look at it and it's like this, we can still come and pray. Um, I tell people, two days in the presence of God can bring 10 years of blessing into your life. And prophetically, I know God does not send me to places. I told uh, Willie, the difficulty of getting to this city, uh, it was, I said, I've never been attacked. But because the prince of the city knows that people will be free. And whenever you see those things personally in your life, know that there is something good waiting for you. In your business, when you see your business begin to do like this, there's something the devil wants to discourage you. Never get discouraged in Jesus' name. I'll be spending time to pray for you. But also I want to make a request. I want you people to pray for me. Um, personally, one of the reasons I also came is the rest. Like I'm here, they are calling me. Government is calling me come back. The national president of PFN is coming and they are calling me to return. As I'm here, they've called me that they want me to become the next national youth president of Khan in Nigeria. I said, I'm not interested. They say, no, that three people have nominated you. And you know, when you now work with someone like Buari as his national youth president in Khan, uh, it's terrible. The man is saying, uh, I hope he's not recorded this one. Everlasting Father, we thank you. King of glory, we thank you. When I was coming, I said, no matter what the rain, we have an appointment with you, King of glory. Amen. And thank you because we're able to make the appointment. Thank you because the ones that you have chosen are the people that you want to meet their need and bring solution. And thank you for meeting every one of our needs in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the shift in the destiny. Thank you, O oh Lord, for what you have done, O oh Lord. Thank you for the open doors. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for addressing issues that, Father, Lord God, Lord, 
that no one can know but accept you, Lord. We give you the glory, we give you honor, we give you all adoration, Lord. We thank you for your son that you have used for us tonight, O oh Lord. We thank you because he has emptied himself, O oh Lord. And Father, Lord God, it is only you that can fill him up in the name of Jesus. Every issue, every concern that he has personally, Father, Lord God, you will meet at the point of his need, O Lord. He will not be put to shame. He will not be weary. Amen. You will encourage him Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord God, as he's going about delivering other people, his family, you will protect. Amen. His child, you will protect. His wife, you will protect Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. His brothers, he will, his sisters, you will protect every one of them. Amen. Even his parents, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The ministry you have placed in his hands, O oh Lord, with the passion. That was why I said, I always, when he said we are connected, I know. When you see, when, I, I, when you see passion, you will know. And Father Lord God, we thank you for the passion he has for you. Thank you because his passion is not about money, but to see destiny fulfilled. Amen. Father Lord God, we thank you that the ministry and every soul that is coming in contact with the Lord. Father Lord God, Lord, he will, have, he will give a good account of that last thing. He will not lose his reward. He will receive the crowns with many stars in the name of Jesus. And every one of us that we are here together. That Father Lord God, we will find our purpose in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Even as he's going to stay back, even if you permit us to be here tomorrow, Lord, you will take care of every situation. He has decreed, he has declared, he has bounded, and they will remain bound. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Father, Lord God, for everything concerning his health issues, he does not have health issues, but you will, you will, you will touch his body anew and afresh. You will touch his body anew and afresh, Lord. We ask for fresh grace, fresh auction upon him. His oil will not run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord God, we just want to give you praise tonight, O Lord. Father, Lord God, we thank you for how you've met with us, O Lord. Even in our sleep, you will meet with us, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. Divine revelations, divine visitations, O Lord, Lord. We open our spirit, man. We open our spirit to receive from you, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord. Powers that attack testimonies, O Lord. Powers I want to take his that you have given to us, Lord, Lord. We bind them in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We send the ministry angels to wage war against them in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Our testimony shall not be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And as we go, Father, Lord, your presence will go ahead of us, Lord. As your son has already declared, so it is already done in the name of Jesus, Lord. If we permit us, we will gather again tomorrow, Lord, and it will be more glorious in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, Lord, we just give you the praise, Lord. Thank you for tonight, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're going to do. Lord. Even for Johnny Mercy, if you don't meet tomorrow, Lord, Father, Lord God, your Johnny Mercy will go ahead of your son, oh Lord. Even for the few times that you're going to hear, Father, you will minister to him, oh Lord. Yes. You will give him a new vigor, a new strength, oh Lord. Lord. That he will be able to meet the challenge ahead of him, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord. For this new position is stepping into, oh Lord, Lord. Every power that wants to contend with him, oh Lord, everything that wants to silence his voice, that wants to oppose his voice, oh Lord, we come against them in the name of Jesus. Lord. He is the son of the king, oh Lord, and anyone that sees him, they will bow to whatever he says, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord. Even the youth that is going to be, you know, the coordinators, every one of them, they will submit to the voice of him, oh Lord, because his voice is the voice of God, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord. Blessed be your holy name, oh Lord, in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Before we share the grace, someone just make in um, a prayer request. We pray for that person with cancer. Let God heal her or him in Jesus' name. Amen. Every attack of sickness, the Bible says in Matthew 8, verse 17, he himself took it away and nailed it to the cross. Amen. 1 Peter 2, 24 says, by whose stripes he or she was healed. We receive that healing on their behalf Amen. and we command that you perfect everything that concerns them. Amen. Heal everyone together. Thank you for hearing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If this was back at home, I'll teach you some other time. We say, I am an ambassador created to be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. As a champion, I am positioned to serve God in absolute humility honesty and loyalty. Soul winning 
is my top priority. I am an ambassador, sorry to greater height. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Prophesy surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. Please give some people water. Thank you for coming. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Thank you for coming.